train went off the tracks as it was heading towards Vancouver. Nancy Hicks is live in field tonight with the latest on the investigation and the victims. Nancy? Well, this is a very tragic situation. We're being told that these three crew members only took over the train a very short distance from where the derailment happened, just east of field. We have now learned the identities of these crew members. The three-person crew included conductor Dylan Paradis, engineer Andrew Dockrill, and trainee Daniel Walden Berger Bloomer. CP Rail says the derailment happened at 1 o'clock Monday morning. The freight train was westbound, and officials estimate the train fell more than 60 meters from the bridge. Two investigators from the Transportation Safety Board are on scene. Two more are working on this case from the Calgary office. The TSB says 40 to 60 grain cars are involved in this incident, and the locomotive ended up in a river. According to Teamster Canada Rail Conference, the three people, people killed are believed to be locomotive engineer, a conductor, and a conductor trainee, all based out of Calgary. Two people were found unresponsive near the locomotive in the Kicking Horse River, and the third was still inside. Parks Canada says it's still assessing the possible environmental impact and working with CP to facilitate a cleanup. In a statement, CP sent condolences to family and friends of the two men, or the three men killed, saying the tragedy will have long-lasting impact on the railroad family, and it will not speculate at this time on what caused this derailment.